12, here we are outside on a cold, crisp northeastern evening. It is um, a, around about quarter past eight and uh, we're out a few hundred yards from where we live and it's a fantastic clear evening tonight. I can see all the stars, it's absolutely stunning. The stars are out. Um, so I've got the equipment here that you need um, to, to go star gazing. Okay, we're going to do some measurements of altitude and azimuth of various different stars. So the tools that we need for that are the sextant, which you've hopefully made. Um, you need a compass. Okay, here's my compass. Um, a pad. So I've just got a list of different stars on there that I'm going to observe tonight. So we're looking at Orion, Betelgeuse and Rigel, Cygnus, Cassiopeia, Andromeda, Ursa Major, the Mars and Moon. Okay, and I've got a pen to write down my observations. I've also got my phone with me um, and I'm going to get the app on the phone. Uh, which is called Sky Safari. Now, there are lots of good apps that you can use for this, but Sky Safari um, is a good one. Star Walk is a good one as well. So let me find that, Sky Safari. The nice thing about Sky Safari is it has a black and red screen. Um, you'll notice that we're wearing red lights. Uh, red light is because it doesn't interfere so much with our observing of the stars. So, the first thing we're going to look at tonight is the moon. So I have my trusty helper with me. Please come this way, trusty helper. You might, well, if it was light, you'd recognise him. Uh, he is a sick former. He's in year 13. Um, right, so Edward, the moon is up there. So can we point, can you camera person could you come a little bit closer please and what you need to do is to look at Edward all right come here Martha come here now Edward is pointing the sextant up at the moon okay I'm shining my red light onto the sextant there Edward is eyeballing the moon along the stick and if he holds it steady for a second, I can see the angle there is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. It's not quite, it's, it's quite wobbling. Keep it still there. It's not, it's nearly 50. Let's say it's 50 degrees. Okay. So we're going to write down in our pad that the altitude of the moon is 50 degrees. Now we need to measure the azimuth of the moon so again Edward's going to help me with this so could you just focus on the compass for a minute please now what the first thing we need to do is to line up and find north so I can see the needle there pointing north that way I'm going to get the north N that's for north lined up with the north pointing arrow there. Okay, so that's north. I've got it lined up. Edward's going to use the stick to point. Hold, just hold that up a minute. He's going to point at the moon. He's then going to bring the stick vertically down on top of the compass. And that enables me to get the azimuth, which is about 10. I'm just trying to see it. Um... 20, 40, it's about 90 degrees, I would say. Between 80 and 90. Let's go for 85 degrees. So I'm going to write down my notepad azimuth of 85 degrees for the moon. Okay, and that's the angle from zero. Let's try looking at Mars. Now, the position of Mars changes. Um, so what I need to do is I need to use Sky Safari to find Mars. I don't know whether you can see that, but on the screen there I've got Mars. Okay. And it's telling me that Mars is southwest. So that's over there. It's underneath, well, the moon is there. Now the thing is, what I need to do, what I haven't done, is to make sure that I've got the current time. So let's go to settings. 
Okay, I press the settings button at the bottom. I'm going to press date and time on here. And there's a little box at the top there that says use current time. So I'm going to check that, make sure the tick appears in the box. Okay, and I'm going to go back. And now I'm going to find where Mars is. Now Mars is basically um, near Orion. And I'm going to look at, if I'm looking at this, the three stars of Orion are pointing to Mars. So it's that one there, Edward. Uh -huh. So this is the tricky bit, is identifying the stars. So Mars, this Pleiades, that no, that's Aldebaran. It's that one. That one. That oh. one. Underneath. Yeah. Right? So you need to use your app to find these things. Um, so Edward is now pointing. So camera person, could you come around here please? He's pointing the stick directly at Mars. And we've got an altitude of about, it's moving around a lot. And this is one of the problems with this. It's not a very, it's, it's shaking around a lot. It's about 45 degrees. Okay, so let's write that down. Mars, 45 degrees. Let's find the azimuth of Mars. Okay, so, right. North, finding north here. On my compass, Edward is going to point to Mars. He's going to drop the stick straight down onto the compass. And that gives me a direction of 220. 220 degrees from north to Mars. Okay. Basically, we'll repeat that process um, for all of the stars. The tricky bit is finding them in the first place. Okay, tonight is a beautiful night. Um, so the next one that we're going to look at is Orion and we're going to look at Betelgeuse. Now Orion, dead easy to find in the sky. Orion, you won't see it with the camera. I will do some editing and I will put a picture of Orion. Orion has got two stars, two very bright stars in it that we want to look at. Betelgeuse in the top left and Rigel in the bottom right. Okay, so Edward's going to point the sextant up at <laughs> Betelgeuse. Okay, so get stick, Betelgeuse top left, and that's an angle of, well, it's actually 50 degrees. So, and then let's do, while we're here, let's do Rigel. Let's do Rigel, which is the bottom right. Um, okay, so 30 degrees for Rigel. Okay. I think you've got the basic idea, Year 12, on how you go about stargazing. Um, you've got to get out there. You've got to get your own results. I'm out every few nights with my helpers getting some results. Okay? You won't. You could maybe use some of those, but you have to get out there and you have to get your own results. It's very helpful to have a helper. Okay, so try and persuade somebody to come out with you. You need somewhere dark away from the city. This is just a little green patch surrounded by trees and tonight the stars are beautiful. I'm, I'm very close to houses, we're only about 100 yards from houses, um, so we're not far away from civilization, but it is a little dark spot where we can see the stars clearly. So good luck and um, I shall post this on YouTube. All the best, see you on Tuesday.